the defensive king may stop this electric titans keep on charging through the queen goes to the storage she's got to get past the king to get to the pad here the queen steps through she gets stuck on the defensive king look at this archer look at this archer archer gets distracted somebody take it the king is trying to stop it frostbite you guys probably didn't even notice that i was gone for like two weeks going out to seattle for the Snapdragon Pro Series, like you saw in the videos over the last couple days here. Uh, big win right there, by the way, for the Affiliate Esports team. But the same players who play in Affiliate Esports are actually also time to throw. So we see Max, the team captain that was out in Seattle there, going in for an open attack in today's war in the Nepal Cup as they take on Persian Elite, played out of the clan name Iran. So we'll see what Max can do to start us off today. But I had a wild ride. I was out in Seattle for that, and then we turned directly around from that, and then we went out to Paris to stream with Ludwig for the Chess.com Clash of Clans Clash Royale crossover, which was a really fun event there. I mean, it was uh, it was like obviously not super high level gameplay there. It was just kind of silly and fun with lots of uh, big name creators involved there, just spamming some e drags and Clash of Clans and making. Uh, a little bit of a show for themselves in uh, chess with their new like. What, you guys see that uh, spell chess thing? They had like this thing where they mixed like uh, Clash of Clans spells into a chess game, which was really really cool. It was a lot of fun, but I, I had a good time there uh, on my travels there. But we're back home now, and we're gonna get back into our normal groove here. And luckily, I had just enough content to be able to get us through while I was gone. And so now we're back in our normal swing of things here. And we'll see if Max can close out this base here with the Super Barbarians to follow up after that blimp went in with the Warden and all those balloons. And he will go ahead and collapse in the King and the Queen in for the right side of the base there. Looks like Ice Golems over there. He drew off the rest of the Ice Golems that came out of the defensive CC down south. And he's just fighting off with an Electro Titan. So I like that. I like that the Warden is finding a nice safe spot with a very little amount of HP. He's going to fight off that entire HP pool of the Defensive King there without getting a single strike received on his own. But at the same time, charging the Race Towers is going to be a little bit difficult here. He got the one at the top here pre-triggered, but it's about to reset here. And if he doesn't get there quickly enough there and take that area out there, then he's going to have it re-trigger on him. And there's going to be a ton of damage on, on him in that area. But luckily, he's got the Freeze. He's got another... Whole bunch of super barbarians. He's starting to collapse around the top of the base here. He's got the cleanup working on the far left side. The warden is somehow still alive. The queen is going to go drag the warden into danger there, but the queen is now behind the Electro Titan there, and Electro Titan is continuing to take the Eagle Artillery Strikes there as the World Champion takes it down. But freezing up the scatter shot, but I kind of wonder if the Expo would have been a higher value there. He pops the RC ability, takes the Defensive Expo down, stuns the scatter shot. The super barbarians swarm the base there, and Max gets it done. Now, Max also was one of the most clutch players out in seattle as well so huge pickup right there right out of the gate there as he opens up strong for time to throw persian elite will now return fire super dragons recall and queen charge to start off their war here they've got that blimp i assume that if he's gonna use a blimp then he would want to have an entry through a scatter shot so if the queen is just going to move along to this area here, get the funnel set on that side, I would imagine that she would redeploy and charge the eagle artillery on the other side of the base there. If he goes through the town hall, I would be quite surprised here. Let's see what he does. Okay, yeah, he's going to go to the right side. He's going to get the queen to just collapse in that corner there. Relative safety here other than this ground expo, but he goes ahead and disables the ground expo with a skeleton spell. But he does have the Tesla farm popping there, so the skeletons are not able to keep that expo distracted, and it still locks onto his queen. But the queen is hanging on. Ward ability goes off there, protecting the blimp. The blimp will go secure the town hall takedown and trigger a whole bunch of traps there along the way. Right safely, the town hall takedown ranged up there. Got the tornado trap that is active right now, so he freezes the town hall along with the model. He's able to take the town down, but he's going to miss the monolith here, and he'll go ahead and rage at the super dragons. It frees up the monolith with the sweeper and the defensive world champion. Very, very high value freeze right there, and that's going to keep these dragons alive and push you to the back side of the base there. Freeze up again as he gets there, and he's got one more freeze on standby, but I feel like at this point, hold that freeze and save it for your heroes to make sure that they stay protected. I love that the dragon of the, and the grand ward and take out one more ground expo down on the left side and so he's actually set up very very nicely and once again the warden finds some safety and he's got the phoenix as well so you can actually get a couple more abilities there but it's going to mostly be trash buildings he's got the rc ability though he's got the freeze and not really much can stop the defensive world champ or the offensive world champion i mean as he has her go through she's not even max level but it's okay he just needs to get these 
Archer Tower is down with her ability, I would assume. But honestly, she's not even taking any damage because the healers were able to transfer off of the queen. They're healing the road champion. This is crushed. Jeez, there's no way this is not going to go through. He uses the wall breaker to kill the king pad. I like that. He's still got a headhunter on standby. He's got tons of force moving. And it looks like Haven going to get it done here for Persian Elite here. And that means that this round of the Nepal Cup is going to be starting off tied. Completely crushed there. Can swag the freeze. Can swag the world champion ability. And he's got plenty of time on the clock. There it is. Freeze to CC. <laughs> oh, that, that always cracks me up. Diego going to be starting with a little bit of lightning. Just taking out the sweeper that was protecting the eagle artillery. Maybe setting up the dragons to go right through there. Maybe charge the eagle artillery. Protect the blimp to cross the base there and drop out a super minion bomb. That would be my guess. But he doesn't quite get the air defense down to the right side of the base there. Looks like he was trying to put in the rocket balloons and the regular balloons to go after it. And now he only has one regular balloon to go search for traps here with the dragon. So he end up facing some black air bombs as he enters in. He may lose a few dragons in the process. But that balloon doesn't find anything there. So here goes the blimp. Maybe the blimp can clear traps though. That's one of the biggest advantages of using the blimp there is if you protect it with the ward ability, you can watch how many traps it soaks up. That's not the trap you want to find, though. You do not want to get stuck in a tornado trap as he will drop that blimp drop way, way, way sooner than he would have wanted. And he will go out ahead and do the super minion bomb wherever it opened up, but that is not what he wanted as a target. He wanted to get the single and the town hall down. Like the warden expose anything on the backside that would make the hero push a little bit easier through the tunnel area would have been very, very valuable. But at least he gets the right tower to trigger. And it looks like he'll get the defensive grand warden down. He got the single down. So he can potentially work with this. I'm not sure. But he'll have the hero start their way in. He does have the monolith that is still standing. But he has a skeleton spell that he can use to disable it here. Road Champion starts early. Road Champion on the left side of the base there. The Ward is still working, staying outside of the range. Well, some of these Ward isn't finding safety, but he does step into danger now. He will go down, and now he has to push his heroes through, and we'll see if they can take the rest of the base there, but it's not going to be easy. Not like a Super Barbarian attack. They don't get continuous support as they make their way through, and so you're just left with almost no spells and very little side support here. So this actually might be the opportunity for Persian Elite to potentially get in the lead if they can take advantage of this. But the Queen's circling in. RC ability goes off here. Does make his way into the model. The King's still moving. Queen still has a lot of time. She still has her ability. There is a chance he can still pull through here. Let's not give up on him. But the Diggy crosses through. Gets the stun out of the Expo. The Dragon's right there. The Dragon takes a Black Air Bomb. The Queen's cutting across there. The Skeleton Spell is giving some support here for the Queen. She will have enough HP. She can absorb those shots here. And hopefully she circles out and around. But he's got all of these Barbarians from the King ability. And they give the cover for the Phoenix to step in there and get that Wizard Tower. Or the Phoenix gives them the cover. However you want to say it there. But he's got access to everything on the back side of the base there. He's just fighting the clock right now. He's got the Archer working the far right side of the base there. He has the Queen ability to get past the defensive world champion. He puts in the Headhunter. Puts in the Archers. Doing anything he can to just speed things up as much as he can here. And keep this Queen alive. But in the end, he will not have the time. And it is going to be only a time fail. And a solid attempt, to, never nonetheless here, but yeah, it's not going to happen for him. 93%. Need to take advantage of the miss. We know what time to throw could do. Gotta get some stars up here. What do you guys think would be the final score here? Because when they were playing out in Seattle, time to throw was putting up multiple 14 star wards. And so if they can continue that trend here, then they can definitely come back hard on this war here and put a lot of pressure onto Persian Elite. But I like that the lightning was used with the baby dragon there, cutting out the outside of the base there, and uh, not really sure 100% how I feel about the overall pathing for, like, the Town Hall takedown here. Because he has the blimp right now, and often with that, that zap intellectual setup here, we would see the Flame Flinger go to the Town Hall, but he's actually just going to have the Blimp sail over the top there and have it go to the Town Hall. But I am concerned about where the King is right now, because the Queen may end up wandering off that direction. But I think she ends up following the Ice Golem, so he may be okay. Able to use the Yeti Blimp to secure the Town Takedown. They actually step over and get that Expo down as well. That's huge. Get a lot of damage off of the flank here, but that did 
Use up a lot of time there at the start of the attack. So he'll start the world champion relatively early. Work out on the outside of the base and just get some cleanup to follow behind here. Although the key's kind of going to clean up on the left side of the base there. So he may be in a little bit of a tough spot here. But he still has to heal his life. And as long as those healers are staying alive here, then this still has a chance to go through. The Queen will step over, get the full Inferno down. That'll take the damage off of the healers. Notice how there's enough Electro Titans and enough tanky troops on the ground there that the healers are not getting targeted even by the multi because all the beams were distracted but he does end up rounding his healers into the air defense there as the titans just round the corner pulled him and he's gonna lose every single one of them right now but they've done their job he's actually able to get a lot of these down there before he ends up losing that the biggest threat right now is this defensive road champion his road champion is kind of passing up everybody right now and he doesn't have any extra wall breaks here, so he kind of needs his world champion to go in here and clear this compartment. If she can get that compartment down, he has a chance. He puts in the headhunter, freezes, and he does get the lock on the defensive world champion. Got one strike as she attacked the headhunter. Yeah, she attacked the headhunter, and it pulled aggro for the world champion, so she actually attacked her. But the queen went to the inside of the base there. She's very, very low on HP. She's barely, barely hanging on, but she's got the electric titan down in front of her. He's got the lead here, definitely. But the defensive king may stop this. Electro Titans keep on charging through. The queen goes to the storage. She's got to get past the king to get to the pad here. The queen steps through. She gets stuck on the defensive king. Look at this archer. Look at this archer. Archer gets distracted. Somebody take it. The king is trying to stop it. Frostbite! No, they can't get it. They can't get it. It's a 99% time fail. And Captain Zaid ends up falling short. But it is a percentage advantage by six building. It, it was definitely a, a rough time coming back from Paris, though. Was kind of hoping that since everything had gone smooth as travel all the way up to there, that we would have been okay. But when I came back from Paris, they lost my uh, bag. And then they canceled my final flight. On the last leg of like a 16-hour trip, they canceled my flight. And... It, I ended up having to sleep on a bench in the airport overnight, and I was in like a like I was trying to like travel comfortably, right? So I was in my uh, I was in like gym shorts and a and a t-shirt, and the airport was really really cold because they had the AC blaring because it was like 90 degrees out, and so I ended up uh, sleeping on the bench there. But I didn't have like uh, I didn't have any of my clothes because I lost my suitcase, so I ended up just like curling up into a ball and trying not to freeze. I got like two hours of sleep that night. And then eventually they got me onto another flight there the next morning and I was, I was able to make it home. Like luckily because they actually canceled the flight that I was moved to as well. But I got on as like a standby for one of the flights there and made it home. So we, we did make it. We did make it. But while I'm over here blabbering about what happened with that, Van has done a pretty good job of clearing out the entire top side of the base there. Just need to get the Town Hall taken down here. He's got this scatter shot that wasn't taken down by the World Champion. She's getting distracted by the Ground Skellies, but the Freeze right there gets him to go all the way to the scatter shot there. Dicky takes the stun. Dicky takes the scatter shot there and steps in the Expo. The World Champion looking to survive here. Warden, however, is following the World Champion and not the Bloons right now. So, oh, Warden, 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 Warden! Step into the Town Hall, take down Van to one star this! He's got Bloons come down south there, but see, Town Hall was not protected through the ward ability, so the ward champion has to finish it. Luckily, she survives and she takes it. More Bloons on the other side of the base there. He got the defensive ward champion down with the scatter shot. Holy cow, this ward champion. I feel like she's been hanging out for a thread for a very long time. She takes the stun of the other scatter shot as well. He steps his way into the expo. He takes it down and he's got the triple. Are you kidding? That looked like it was going to be a one star for a second there. But this royal champion just carried this entire attack there on his shoulders. I don't know how she survived. She was she looked like she was barely going to make it to this left side compartment. But then she took out everything on the whole base. GG Van. Fabulous Empire coming up for the next attack here for Persian Elite. Looks like a Electro Titan smash attack here. They were able to get... That 99% with the previous Electro Titan smash, but this one is going to remove one Electro Titan to add in four Super Archers. I always like this variation. I feel like the Super Archers can be extremely high impact compared to what one, one additional Electro Titan can do here because three generally get the job done, but be able to have the firepower to assist the Queen to fight off defensive CC troops there and attack over walls can be very, very valuable. 
But he does have a couple traps going off up here. He tried to put the baby dragon in, put it a minion up there. Lost that minion to a red air bomb, but he's got it under control there with the second minion. And he will get the funnel form. Now as he deploys everything, he put it right onto this cannon. But I'm not 100% convinced here that the super archers will follow the electric titans into the base here because their long range can definitely throw off their pathing. So I feel like he needs to deploy them a little bit further off to the left where he put the electric titans like directly onto the cannon. He should be okay here if you deploy it right. Yeah, he's, notice how he's deployed everything off to the far left here. There we go. Super Arch is deployed way further off to the left dead than everything else there. But they still may end up wandering down south here. So we may need the king to go in and secure that area and give them the extra support there because they're not going to follow the main pack. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe he can control it though. But he puts that blimp in. It will get the protection of the ward ability. And it will go in here and secure the talent takedown. Yeti Bomb pops out. Freeze it. I don't know that the freeze was necessary. In fact, he froze late. And so he ended up not getting any value out of the freeze there. So he will swag it. We oh, Queen just went down through her ability to the monolith. That's a bit of a problem as well. And the Electric Titans are all leaving the base. Was the jump not positioned to go to the Eagle Artillery? It comp okay, well, this one is going off the rails. But he's got a two star and we'll just see what kind of percentage you can get out of it he does just kind of coast around the outside of the base there got some percentage here but he's gonna leave a lot on the board it's gonna close out at it looks like a 74 percent so we see time to throw swing that lead into their favor so if you guys missed the chess clash event that we did out in paris you can actually go watch it over on uh, Ludwig's channel. You want to check it out? It's on the live tab there for his previous live streams. Uh, but let's dive into Peivu. Not that we need to shout out Ludwig. <laughs> He's one of the biggest uh, streamers in the world. But you know what? Maybe you didn't know what happened. And you want to go check it out. Just a chill little thing there. A chill little event. Little. <laughs> little. Nothing's little when you have Ludwig involved. But uh, Peifu going to be pushing his way in with a bit of lightning to take out the sweeper that was facing north. Maybe he was facing the Eagle Artillery there. He'll just have the Queen work along the outside of the base there. Recall her right before she goes to a building without having to invest additional spells right there. Redeploys the Queen into another spot where she's in a little bit of danger, but she's able to relieve that damage here pretty quickly. But she will need to race here very quickly. Don't go to ability. I like this minion chipping away at the right side. A couple minions, actually. And the balloon. Gonna go search for black air bombs. Finds one. Queen just controlled the taking of the archer tower there. Made sure that he deployed inside of that range. He has one wall breaker. Goes ahead and makes a couple buildings invisible on the right side as he can need to push the minions into the artillery. They can take it, though. I don't think they can find a safe spot to stand right there. But you know what he can do? He can put the dragons right through the eagle artillery. He just used that invisibility to make sure the queen went off to the left. And she has a wall breaker, but look at the wall breaker here. Not waiting until the queen clears all the buildings there. Making sure that there's still buildings inside of that compartment so the queen can have the wall breaker target those buildings and so she can get out of there. King funnels up ahead and the queen will round into the town hall takedown and that frees up the ability to use the stone slammer. I really like this attack so far. Very, very intricate. Used up a lot of time, though. But overall, I think he's still okay on the overall time. The king goes to Phoenix as he charges into the left side of the, the uh, town hall compartment there. Gets the traps cleared there as the Phoenix pops up there. The dragons will assist the queen and secure the top takedown. Although, it would have been better if the dragons would have gone south in the very bottom of the compartment there. Because dumping them into the town hall takedown definitely hurts them a little bit. Gordon finding a little bit of safety there, but he ends up getting hit by traps. He goes down. 40 seconds here. Now, this is where it's going to get dicey. He's got that one last freeze to save the queen for a little bit longer here. The healers are taking a ton of damage to the town poison. They all go down to the poison, and it's up to the world champion to finish off the base there, but I don't think she can. I think this is Persian Elite's chance to make the comeback in this war now, as they have slipped a little bit behind. So, if they can get a triple on this next one... They can swing this back, and we'll see where the percentage lands there if they make that happen. But this one is only going to the 80s. Nice try, Peivu. Hunter in. He drops in a Super Archer blimp, and he just dropped it in shallow here. Not investing the ward ability to drop it in. He'll just go after the Eagle Artillery, the Multi-Infernos, pick up some Expos as well. Can you get the Sweepers out of the way there? That would be 
I think it's not necessary here. It's a super barbarian attack to pick up here, but anything that you can cut out in the interior of the base there are a little less things that you'll have to go deep in the base to go after later on. Which will definitely assist. I like the super archers taking out this archer tower on the side of the base there. They can continue to work on the trash and fight off some of the defensive CC troops here. Looks like the super archers are mowing down the regular archers there, so lots of value out of that. That was a pretty strong setup here, but there's still a lot of base left. Now, one of the biggest advantages of using the Super Archer Blimp compared to, like, the Dragon setup there that we saw earlier is you may not take as much of the base there, but you get all these Super Barbarians to now support the heroes and tank for them as you wrap through. Warden deploys with the King and the Queen. Electro Titan right there to help him power through any remaining defensive CC troops there and also immediately disperse of any ground skellies, but Super Barbarians come to the outside of the base there. They're... Funneling the heroes to go inside the base there to take out the heavier defenses while they pick up the lighter defense and provide tanking out there. It's a really good management right now. Just need to get the heroes to round all the way through and go in and secure the town takedown. The king will have his ability there with the warden ability, which is extremely powerful when you combine them. Just make sure that uh, ward ability protects the king. When he has all the Barbarians still active, he pops it right there, but the King already went down, or is he still alive? I can't tell if he went to Phoenix or not. I think he has not gone to Phoenix yet, so he's able to catch the Ward ability. Nope, he was on Phoenix right there, so the Ward ability did not protect the King at the right time. So that was definitely a mistake right there. You should have popped the King ability, got all the Barbarians, and then you go ahead and use the Ward ability to protect the King so you don't go to Phoenix. That way you get a have the king go to phoenix right after he comes out of the ward ability because it doesn't do you any good there to make him invincible twice the world champion is still doing some good work here he's got three more super parts he can toss them in i feel like you need to put him into these top defenses here he pops to rc ability because that's some of the inside buildings but he throws it way over to the right side and he gets that backside cannon which is definitely helpful here anything that he can do to preserve the hp of the world champion is very valuable but he needs to finish it up in time. So he needs a super barb to survive on the side of the base there to go pick up the storage. He's got the minions right there. The world champion goes south. We'll go ahead and pick up this this, uh, this bigger storage here. But this one, oh, they're going to come down at the right time. Come on, take it. Oh, no, come on. They're getting cheated so hard. 299%. 299%. But guys, they can still win this. They can still take down time to throw. Because right now, they are only three buildings behind. So if Time to Throw doesn't get a 98% or higher, then the door is open here and Persian League can take this war. But let's dive in. Let's dive into Bonky. Let's see what he can do. Maybe the underdog team out of Persian Elite can take this. What do you guys think? <laughs> I mean, it's a wild ride so far. But he's got a Queen Charge into Lalo. And a lot of pressure on now. Obviously, the more pressure is on to Iran. Because if we end up with a miss on both sides here, then time to throw is going to end up taking this. But he does a battle drill Yeti bomb. Interesting. Drop into the Yeti bomb there to try to get the scatter shot down. Looks like you'll get it. Okay, Kabarmi cleared here. Got the CC pull. Just going to draw the CC over the Queen Charge. Not deployed his healers yet. Not sure what he's waiting for there. Is he trying to make sure the queen's gonna go in? Why didn't he delay him? That's fine. It's fine. Just wants the queen to go in. King will try to cut off her pathing. She's stuck in the ice gloom, so she is delayed. She should step over the arch tower and then round into the multi inferno, I think. Because of the work that King is doing here. I feel like he would have been better off with a skeleton spell than a free spell here for the king, but King is circling in, getting targeted by the monolith again. Monolith's doing a lot of damage here, a little bit concerned. Tried to wall break. The wall breaker actually targeted the arch tower, not the Tesla. And so he won't be able to transition to the next compartment. So he has to burn a second wall breaker here. And he'll go for the third one. He's trying to get this queen to the core of the base here. He's, she's under a lot of fire right now. And the sweeper is not going to heal his back. Rage tower given a ton of heat onto this queen. A bunch of red air bombs going off to the healers now. Still okay though. Goes invisible, makes the ground skellies invisible as well, gets the model down, but he did end up missing that wall break. And so he's not going to get to the multi in front of the core of the base here. I'm a little bit concerned here. I think that Persian Elite might have their opportunity, unless Bonky can turn this around real quick here. But still could end up pulling through. Let's not give up on him yet. Town Hall is about to activate there, but the Bloons are ignoring it right now. Going off to the left. They start to turn back, but I think they're going to go off to the left even more. 
King standing there blocking the town takedown. Guys, this might end up being a one star. Come on, take the town hall down. The blues are not going there. There's one balloon above the town hall right now. I don't know if it can take it though. The blues are not going to the town hall at all. He has the road champion. Road champion might be able to get over there and assist, but he does secure it. He does secure the town takedown. RC sweeping the cross now. Rage Tower is active. Tons of incoming damage here, but she's not going to have enough punch, not without the support of the queen, but at least it wasn't a one star and they will have advantage in their war, but they will not control their own fate. Persian Empire can take it on nothing short of a triple on this final attack. We need to see exactly how this town hall went down. He had the raged up balloon right here, which definitely was doing a lot of damage, but I want to see what specifically was hit in the town hall. It looks like only that balloon was hitting it. Yeah, I think it was only the balloon. <laughs> it just survived under the ward ability. I guess the electric owl also took a little bit of chain damage to it, but it was mostly just that one balloon. I mean, it wasn't a triple. It was far from a triple. And now it is percentage advantage into Persian Elite's favor. If they can triple this attack, they will win this war. Ronaldo, drop it in. The Warden protected blimp with super archers into the middle of the base. Taking some mortar fire there. I heard an archer die. But there's still a lot of archers still alive here. They will secure the left side scatter shot. They got the multi-inferno in that area down. They lock onto the town hall. Need to take the town hall. They take the town hall. That's huge. If they take the town hall, I have high hopes for this. But the town hall does not go down. Ronaldo will now start the final approach here with these super barbarians and try to keep the heroes protected as he crosses through. Got a lot of work out ahead of him here, but he can pull this off. The super barbarians are very, very strong in the meta and he still got a decent amount of value out of that super archer bomb. Definitely get him through here if he can take the town hall down efficiently. Gordon's still chipping away there, but he goes down as the air defense locks onto him. King has the Phoenix. Rage Tower activates. Nice wall break. Giving him access all the way through the middle of the base here to go pick up the scatter shot. And he could potentially get through the town hall right there if he ends up breaking the right wall. But the queen doesn't follow the king. King will at least stand in that middle there and tank everything there while the Rage Tower is active. So giving him a chance. The queen now circling. And she gave up the wall. I don't know what she's doing. Queen just trying to find a good wall to attack here. Hard to control the queen here. Definitely very difficult. You're just kind of letting the AI choose where she wants to go and you don't really have a lot of long-term control, but the queen does get that wall break. That wall break was clutch right there. Steps the way in, takes the town hall. He's got the road champion moving through. He's got super barbarians locking out the king. He's got it. Are you kidding? Ronaldo picking up the win as time to throw goes down. That was clutch like crazy. And it was against all odds there where the town hall didn't go down, but he managed it absolutely perfectly. GG, Persian Elite takes the win.